Hello everyone. So today we are going to record a new video, me and Chacha. It's about computer science. So let's do it. Okay, Hello, so Chacha. hi Dia. So today's video is titled Computer Science Around the World, Tunisia and Philippines featuring me and Dia. So if you are watching from my channel, Acha Abe, hi and welcome. I am Athena Abe and with me is Dia. Hello everyone, so I am Dia, I'm from Tunisia, I'm 21 years old and I am a computer science student. Okay, I am 20 years old and I am also a computer science student. So let's start. Now we were going to tell you our personal uh, experience and reason why we chose computer science, starting with Dia. Okay, so for me, I like everything that has relation with computer science. Uh, from uh, since I was a child, I like everything like computer and video games and playing with friends, talking with them in Skype. So I really like everything that has relation with computer. So uh, when I had to choose my field to continue my studying, so I could. The, the best thing for me is to choose computer science. And when I start learning, learning, I really like it and I'm so happy because I choose it because computer science is the future. Yes, so that's what do you true. think and why did you choose the computer science, Chacha? Thank you, Dia, for that wonderful question. <laughs> I chose computer <laughs> science because I was actually uh, inspired by my my mother she took computer science as her major and she is now a systems analyst and I also want to become like her um, growing up I observed her working in front of a computer and that may seem boring but I imagine myself working in front of a computer with a lot of paperwork but I am also open into becoming a computer science professor I dream of uh, graduating with a degree in computer science I also want to take my master's after that and eventually also have my uh, PhD in computer science so that is our uh, reasons why we chose computer science as our major next is about the misconceptions of computer science so Dia what um, in Tunisia what are the uh, misconceptions about computer science Okay, so please, 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 don't ask computer science students to hack Facebook. We don't do that here. Please, just understand it. Uh, they don't teach us how to hack, they don't show us, and we don't like that. So please, when I tell you I study computer science, I'm not a hacker, I'm not Mr. Robot, I'm not something like that. Just please understand what I'm doing. So. <laughs> It really, I don't know, it makes me angry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, here in the Philippines, uh, same experience, Dia. People um, come to us, computer science students here, and tell us to hack their Facebook accounts, which hacking, uh, people should know that hacking someone's account or hacking um, different uh, uh, things is con considered uh, illegal and if you have something it should be ethical it should be reasonable and other people also perceive uh, computer science students as technicians as electricians we cannot fix your phone we cannot fix your television we cannot fix your washing machine because we are computer science oh, yeah. students <laughs> yeah so computer science is a different field we will go further in that but before we dive into that, we will tell you how useful computer science in your life is, even if you are not a computer science student. For me, I think computer science is the future uh, because everything that has relation with uh, connecting on net uh, nowadays and uh, creating machines to, to detect the objects, to detect humans and to help them in their lives. Uh, we can see in the quarantine, uh, we could buy everything online, we could communicate with others, uh, we 
people really do uh, everything expect traveling and uh, meeting our friends in real life but to be honest computer science always helping us to do what we want from our houses uh, from where, where whenever we are uh, wherever we are we can do everything and whenever we want yeah that is true dia that is why computer science is important in our life and for me computer science is also important as a student now we are experiencing online classes in the pandemic even though it is hard um computer science is important because without it there wouldn't be um learning management systems or uh, you cannot have video conferencing like uh, google meet google classroom we cannot have our uh, leisure time like uh, watching on youtube right now you are watching this on youtube and computer science is also the reason behind behind why we have youtube now and we also cannot buy things through online without the help of computer science so Yes. And also games. You, you cannot have games without computer science. So next, yes. next, uh, we're going to tell you what we know um, about the different fields in computer science. So also considering that computer science is just not a one field alone. There are different fields in under computer science. There are a lot of uh, fields in computer science, like computer vision, about uh, helping people in their words like detecting objects when something is missing so they can find it easily there where we can find the help of uh, the, the computer science and also I know uh, things like machine learning when you learn the machine to act like humans and to be helpful for us the web development I was uh, going to forget what I'm studying, so I am student of web development. Okay, thank you, Dia. So, like Dia said, um, the other different fields under um, computer science are computer vision, artificial intelligence, and web development. Now, for me, what I know about uh, the different fields under computer science aside from web development is you can be a programmer in web development or you can be a programmer for game development so there are different types of programmers that uh, when if you take uh, computer science as your major if you want to uh, create websites like Tia and if you want to create a game you can choose uh, computer science under game development you can also become like uh, what I want to be a systems analyst you can also become a administrator you can be a data a database administrator you can become um, a, a information security analyst you can be a quality assurance analyst you can be a manager in an IT uh, industry there are different careers and fields if you choose uh, computer science as your major or you can also start or create your own startup. If you got an idea, you can create it, you can be creative, you can be productive. So just do it and keep learning. Yes, thank you, Dia. And before we move on to the next topic, actually, um, me and Dia are still learning, we are still students. And now we're going to tell you uh, how different uh, my curriculum uh, compared to the is. So here in the Philippines, um, I am still a college student. Computer science here in the Philippines is four years. And here in the Philippines, when you take computer science as your major, you can have a degree in computer science with another major. For example, um, people here in the Philippines can graduate computer science, um, bachelor of uh, science in computer science, major in game development, or uh, major in information systems, something like that. How about you, Dia? Here in Tunisia, you need to, uh, to study three years to get your, uh, your computer science degree. Then you can uh, study three more years to get your computer uh, to web development major or game development major 
or uh, I don't know something uh, anything else. So it takes us uh, six years. Sadly, I feel sad when I say it, but uh, that's true. <laughs> yeah, six years. That is a lot in learning computer science. But I guarantee that. Um, it depends on the student on how they will make uh, those years, whether it is four years or six years worth their time, right, Dia? What we have uh, told you that we should never stop learning. So learning never stops in just the four corners of the classroom. So we should not always depend on the teacher or the professor on what they will teach us because if you graduate computer science and whatever your career or profession may be, uh, we computer science uh, um, people need to learn, continuously learn because technology is ever-changing and um, everything around us uh, needs to be updated, improved, and revised. That's why we always need to continuously learn and especially learning doesn't end there. We also need to apply what we know and what we learn. Next is how do we learn computer science? Okay, for me, if you want to learn something, it's very easy. You have internet, you have internet, right? So just go on YouTube and type uh, everything you want. If you want to learn JavaScript, for example, you just write JavaScript tutorials and you will find everything that has relation with JavaScript. You also can discover the courses of Udemy. Uh, you can say, I don't have enough money to buy courses. No, you will find free courses that gives you what you want. I will put links here in the description in the video of our video you will find everything you want if you can find what you want uh, just put a comment and we will help you to give you what you want so just keep learning and uh, don't give up you will become what you want so just trust me and keep learning yeah and don't worry you are not alone in this people uh, in the computer science field are openly willing to help you learn that's why like Tia said there are other sources you can go on YouTube and search what you want to learn and uh, a lot of video will pop up in different uh, languages if you are having a hard time uh, learning in uh, English there are uh, like Dia his channel is teaching people how to code in their language now if you feel like you are unsure if you really want to take um, computer science or any other fields related to technology we will also add a link to our description I made a video on if you want to become or if you are currently a uh, CS or IT student and I will tell you why we need to create I will give tips and advices on uh, on what on what CS and IT is all about so last before we end this video we're going to give you programming apps that we currently use a, as computer science students for me I use a lot of applications but for now I remember I use NetBeans uh, to write Java code I also use Mom server to start the web services I use the Visio studio to write my code uh, I also use my SQL to connect my backend to the database. Uh, I use Microsoft Teams to work with my teammates when we work on project, uh, me and my team or with a friend. So I use uh, this application to communicate with them. I use uh, uh, GitHub to share our repository to work together. Uh, and I used Git to push my work on it. So yeah, that's it. Okay, so what that, about you? Yeah. So those are the programming apps that Dia uses as a web developer. So as a computer science student, I also use uh, WAMP server. Um, but for me, I use Notepad++ to code whenever we uh, take a web development uh, class. I also use uh, NetBeans when we code in Java and uh, for database when we learn database uh, I use 
MySQL Workbench to create uh, entity relationship diagrams and uh, make uh, database connections. Uh, we also use Swamp Server for uh, making creating tables. And if you uh, want to get more creative in making your diagrams, I usually use a Lucid chart. Uh, we will put the um, our programming apps in the description below and the links so you can also discover them on your own and that is it that is the end of our video yes yeah, so that's the end of our video uh, thank you for watching uh, you will find everything you need in the description of the video so I hope you enjoy it. If you want to learn something or to know something, just put it in the comment and we will see you soon. Goodbye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye guys. Thank you.